Carlos Alcaraz in action against Dusan Lajevic, Ball Don't Lajevic, had that ab injury late last year. Then he had the hamstring injury early this season. What did you think of the season debut? Uh, I thought he looked good. I I'm glad he sort of went to three sets so he got a few more pressure reps under him. Lajevic can play on this stuff. I mean, look, this is a guy who's made the final of Monte Carlo, took out Sebastian Bays, who can play on this stuff earlier this week as well. But I think after that match under his belt, Carlos is going to feel that much more sharp. And physically, he looked pretty good. So I'd like him to come through pretty comfortably. I love this matchup in Doha between Sakri and Pagula. It's 4-2 Sakri head-to-head, -head, but let's talk last year. They split those matchups. So who comes out tomorrow? I mean, Sakri maybe just got the edge. She beat uh, Pagula at the Tour Finals. I think that Sakri with this win as well against Garcia, mm. she is playing very confident tennis. It was, I think, one of the best matches that she's probably played in quite a while. And so for Sakri, I think that gives her a little more of an edge against Pagula, who has been solid, who's going to push her. But Sakri, she had just a little bit more aggression, and she was consistent enough with it. So that should help her in that matchup. And Pagula and Coco Goff in the finals in Doha as well. A lot They've been playing a lot of tennis, the singles and the doubles. Uh, we got Taylor I Fritz. Love I love that. Singles and doubles. Is that a good thing that you're playing that much, singles I, and doubles? I love it. If you're healthy, yep. why not? All right. We all agree. It's a good thing. Helps the singles game, you know? Taylor Fritz, Adrian Manorino. Yep. We, we saw Fritz play one match. He's into the quarterfinals. Manorino's had to do a little bit more work. I think Fritz is just a, a level above Manorino. If not one level, it's a couple levels. Manorino's done a good job of sort of making things uncomfortable for his opponents. He uses pace really well, especially off that backhand side. Forehand, he's a lefty, so it can get a little bit tricky. I just don't think he has enough weapons to hurt Taylor. So as long as Taylor sort of plays within himself, doesn't get too frustrated out there, and a ton of unforced errors, should be a pretty comfortable match for the American. Yeah, I think the key is going to be Fritz not beating himself. And I think with that win against Gomez, the way he got through it, he had to get down and hit a lot of balls a few times he just accepted not overplaying I think that's going to hold him in good stead uh, in his matchup against Manorino 2-1 head-to-head for Manorino but both of those wins came when, when Taylor was a teenager are we talking about the past wife I mean, come on now <laughs> this is we're, we're not talking about, practice we're talking about now. the past not practice the past everything this, this is the match